What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to bring you the news for the biggest update to Wizards Unite since its launch. I want to talk to you about three new skills that anyone can learn regardless of profession. Three new interactive charms that actually influence the map around you in real time, and three currencies that will be going with these upgrades. Now these are a lot of details. There are a lot of details in this particular update, which we will now know as update 2.14. Um, and there are going to be different pieces and parts of the information released incrementally. So this is the first batch of information that I'm officially allowed to release. So what it really entails is most of a blog or most of the marketing posts that's gonna be shared all over the place that everybody's gonna read, but not necessarily understand because there's no extra information. So I'm here to give you just a little bit more information, but in order to really understand the context, we have to read this marketing post. So let's read it together. The post reads as follows, get ready to level up your calamity kicking skills with all new training provided by the Statute of Secrecy Task Force. With SOS training you'll learn entirely new magical skills with useful benefits to aid you on your adventures. Every witch or wizard, regardless of selected profession, will soon be granted access to a set of new SOS training skill trees full of never before seen lessons. By unlocking these lessons, you'll gain access to skills that have far-ranging effects that can't be found anywhere else. It's up to you to decide what skills to invest in based on your own personal playstyle. Perhaps some of your spells have been feeling a little lackluster. Mastery will increase the power of your spells and help you better trounce those meddlesome confoundables. Finding Fox a little too eager to flee? Departure Denial reduces the chance that a flighty foundable escapes after you cast a spell. Fancy improving your potion brewing skills to levels that even Professor Snape would be proud of? Potions effect boosts the strength of your potions and brew time reduction shortens how long it takes to brew them. Through SOS training, you can also unlock a new set of spells that you invoke directly on the map called Field Charms. Cast the Trace Charm on existing traces to reveal even more traces nearby. Cast the N charm on ends to generate additional spell energy on the map, and cast the greenhouse charm on, you guessed it, greenhouses to conjure rare potion ingredients. While you alone can see the extra traces revealed by your trace charms, all nearby players can take advantage of the bonus spell energy and potion ingredients from anyone's N and greenhouse charms, so be sure to coordinate with fellow players for optimal benefits. What's the key to unlocking all of these unique skills? Continuing to develop your magical potential as a wizard in the SOS Task Force, of course. To help with your professional development, the SOS Task Force will be providing field guides, ministry manuals, and Defense Against the Dark Arts books. Three new resources that you can collect and use alongside existing restricted section books to unlock these new skills. The best part is, Field guides and ministry manuals can be obtained from doing the same things you've already been doing, returning foundables and placing images within the registry. And Defense Against the Dark Arts books can be earned by participating in in-game events. Are you ready to expand your magical horizons with SOS training? Yes. <laughs> Stay tuned for more information this month. Year 2 of Harry Potter Wizards Unite is here. So... <laughs> I am very freaking excited, but first we have to review this, okay? So in review, I read straight through the blog and I put special coloring on the text on the screen so you can kind of have an idea of what it is, the terms, the new things that you'll be putting into your Wizards Unite lingo, etc. And the first thing that I wanna do is talk about the three new skills. These are three skills that anyone, regardless of profession, can select. It doesn't matter what level you are. Well, I think that it does have a level requirement, but it's very minimal. Um, but the thing about these three skills are that you don't have to be a professor or you don't have to be an aura or a zoo. You can just have these skills after you've grinded and, and earned them basically through using the various currencies that we'll talk about in a minute. So in review, the skills. The three skills that we will now have in the game is mastery, which will include increased spell power against foundables in the wild, departure denial, which will reduce the flea chance naturally of any of the rare foundables, like the things that you feel like 
just constantly depart on you. And then the potions effect boosts your potions strength and brew time reduction. So your master notes will be way more effective because your potion brew time will inherently have decreased, hopefully significantly. I don't have the exact numbers on those mechanics yet. I'm not able to share those, but hopefully it will be significant enough for it to make a difference. The three new charms that we will have, these will actually be charms, again, that I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, that are interactive and work on the map specifically. Again, the three charms in review. One, the trace charm. You can use that on existing traces to reveal more traces nearby. Now, whether that is of the same family or of a different family and it's completely random, I'm not 100% sure, um, but essentially it will act in a similar fashion to tonic for trace detection as far as my understanding goes. The in charm will generate spell energy on the map and that is shared between all players in the vicinity. And then the greenhouse charm, you cast of course on greenhouses, to conjure rare potion ingredients on the map. And again, that is shared as well. The trace uh, charm is not shared, but the inn and the greenhouse charms are going to be shared on the map for all players in the vicinity. Now, finally, there are going to be various currencies. The currencies that you will now be getting are going to be called field guides ministry manuals, Defense Against the Dark Arts books, which is actually an image and an in-game asset that's been kind of floating around. I've seen it on Reddit and I've seen it on a few other places because of data miners, but those books have been cited in the wild already. And then the fourth, which isn't a new currency at all, is a restricted section book. So we will be using those and Defense Against the Dark Arts books, uh, ministry manuals, and field guides as the currencies to further these particular sets of skills. Now the reason being for new currencies, and I know that there are probably people who have been saving up scrolls, have been saving up red books, maybe even saving up restricted section books. If you've been saving your restricted section books, then you are ahead of the game. Congratulations. Please hold on to those because they're going to become a big part of the game in upgrading these skill sets. The advice that I have for, for you all right now until 2.14 drops, and this may be hard for you, the red dots may drive you insane, but do not place anything in your registry if you want to grind these out quickly. Make sure that you are as close as you possibly can be on some of the easier foundables to get. Grind, 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 grind for those foundables because the notes that we were given specifically say field guides and ministry manuals can be obtained from doing the same things you've already been doing, which are these two things returning foundables, and placing images in the registry. Now, this isn't like really something that I was told not to say or told to say. This is simply my advice. I have several images that I have been picking up over the last few days, and because I know that this is going to be a thing, I am not placing them because I want to place images in the registry in order to get these manuals or these fill guides from returning those foundables. So make sure that you are saving up if that's something you're interested in. If you wanna start from ground zero and you wanna start from nothing and you know kind of grind your way up that way, that's fine too. You can play the game however you want. I personally want to try out these new skills. I wanna test them out in the wild and see what they look like. And personally, I'm extremely excited for these. Um, that is basically all of the information that I'm allowed to currently share with you guys. But again, me, personally, I, Animagus, I will not be placing any images in my registry until this starts to roll out. So hopefully we can get field guides and ministry manuals and all that good stuff so we can get these new skills unlocked. I don't know what I wanna get first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go after mastery or departure denial or potions effect. It really just kind of depends on depends on how much uh, you know effectiveness I guess the potions have. Like if they're really really reduced, and you can brew at what would usually be an eight hour potent stimulo in like half that time, then I would absolutely go after potions effect. I think that would be so so important for things like the Brufio's brain elixir and trace for tonic uh, detection or tonic for trace detection. But yeah, I'm really interested to see how these work. And hopefully in a couple days, I'll be able to publish another video that dives in a little bit deeper and talks more specifically about the update. Uh, but currently that is all I'm able to share. So let me know what you guys think down below. I am super stoked. Three new charms, three new skills, 
and new currencies to gain in the game just by playing it. I think that that's fan-freaking-tastic. Um, so again, let me know what you guys think down below, and if you haven't already and you enjoy the content, if you are hyped for update 2.14, please leave a thumbs up down below as well as clicking the red subscribe button and ringing that bell notification so you know the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. There is going to be more information come to light about update 2.14 and this is going to be the place where you can find it first. So make sure that you do those things and you will be in the know as soon as I can let you know. So thank you so much for your support. If you want to join our Discord, we have an amazing server, an incredibly supportive community who loves to play night buses and do fortresses together, and we'll absolutely be talking about these new things as they come out. Or if you're interested in monetary support, I also have a Patreon, which isn't necessary, but I thought I would also say that as well as I just launched my first Teespring store. So you can see all the links to the new merchandise for mastering your profession and all of that jazz as well. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching this video. I am very freaking excited about this. And um, yeah, I hope you are too. Until next time, peace.